so guys uh, as the distance you have seen it already i have ride ridden with my skateboard quite a long time before and uh, here i am today from a different spot which was uh, taken to kaveri bridge and uh, it's like two months after my <laughs> lockdown stuff since they have announced much more lockdown like till june 30th end of this month i thought i would take my skateboard for a spin the waterbone setup so we are going to a teppam today and which is very nearby you have you might have seen it or recognized from my uh, you know fast ride of uttravidi you know 9 minutes ride from that video you might have seen it in the map we are going to that spot today this road was totally damaged before and it it was recently built well so they laid the roads recently so i'm going to go for a ride now i need to be a little careful i forgot my pads today so on to the ride it's a little inclination here since people in bicycles ride to different states in india to save their people you know it's because of the lockdown and zero transport between interstates and districts i think riding a skateboard is not a problem it's much more like a bicycle this road was completely damaged before they have rebuilt it well so i thought i'll choose to ride with my skateboard today you need to take some breaks in between but it's a very short ride I should say a lot of pebbles on the roads though i'm wearing my mask universal code do you believe what believe or believe it not you know you got to trust your mask need to follow the universal code you know should say the water bone set up is torky and it helps me ride this uh, plain really smooth and fast even with the bigger 65 mm wheels which tend to have a lot of friction with these kind of roads especially after rain there will be a lot of friction due to the textures the sands everything in the roads so my parking lot was flooded with water it won't dry even if i drain and clean it wipe it before my practice so i chose to ride with my skateboard today So go down here. So there's a speed breaker, junction, traffic, and stuff. So we usually take a left here to Chitravidi and Uttravidi, but that's not the spot we are going. We are going to the Tepam, so which is on to this way, which is on the right side of the road. So let's ride. I should say it's going to be a really tough one because the texture here is very strong. I mean, for the road, so, so I'm going to look for a good spot where there are less pebbles and dirt, so that I can get onto my board and ride. I think I find this spot to be fine. Damn. 
this road is very rough and it's hard to pump I need to be careful because I really forgot my pads my hand grips so I need to be careful with my ride due to lockdown there are less traffic so we have reached the depot technically but we have not reached the entrance I mean the steps it's dry so you see I don't want to get closer because sometimes people do litter here so yeah it's dry because of summer normally it will be filled with water at least for one feet this is a tapam of Sri Rangam temple so we will ride from here the road seems decent but I need to be very careful when I hop onto my board and ride or try to pump okay so here we go yeah found a good grip on my board with the placement so I think I should be okay in riding to the stairs this road seems like the other L of Uttaravidi pebbles and this is an inclination by the way design you know it's inclined this way so that all the water would drain to that tepam tepam means nothing but a water tank where uh, it was designed for the disciples the people who worship who visit from other states So slope and a lot of texture. Normally, if I had pads on me, I would have ridden that surface. Since I don't have a pad today, I chose to walk a little bit till I reach the safe surface and ride. Dang! It was just a snap decision. Where I forgot to take my pads. It's funny, right? Where are my pads? I took my helmet because I have a GoPro on it. So, what an irony. Damn, this road is hard to pump. You need to be careful. No, I don't want to risk it. This is really hard texture to pump. You might get a wheel bite or you might fall so it's normal to have some goat shit and dirt here very less people use it so this is the tapam and this is one side of it you don't find the stairs here because I'm at the wrong place you might have to get to the other Gate. Yeah, this place is leathers. Don't worry. With the lockdown, you don't find people to clean them. Yeah. So, this is one of the finest spots. I came after a long time because, like, let me keep my board here I'll talk to you guys hope I'm in a stand still and there are very less people around so I'm gonna take my masks off so hi guys Krishna Srinivasan a fine art photographer who loves to skate so uh, this is one of the spots which I came after a long time even 
like one and a half years before that's when i sold my canon 6d camera and uh, took a big leap of buying a digital range finder with manual focus lenses you know i've been selling all the canon l series lenses all finished finished lenses of canons white lens black lens you know with a big aperture i sold them and uh, took a big decision to move to fuji x pro 2 with uh, all manual lenses which are very new chinese make i hand picked them for my budget because i like the texture in that manual focus lenses uh, like optica and hengi jia lenses i already had a helios uh, 58mm f2 m42 mount lens so i just have to buy a adapter for fuji x pro to so i came here and found a frame somewhere here between the trees and uh, i was able to cover that depth from probably from here the you know geography and the nature got modified in one of years and i was able to find a frame in between those trees and captured that central uh, mantapam that was the very first shot which i posted on to the gallery for sale with my fuji x pro 2 taken with octaca uh 12mm f2.8 which translate to 18mm so that's the thing so i thought i would take a ride here in the morning after a long time so like 3 months now my last ride the fastest ride in the uttar pradesh was like about uh, somewhere in the first or second week of march now it's like two uh two and a half months after i come out for a ride here and without any protection i forgot i got my helmet but i forgot my uh gloves and uh, knee pads and uh, knuckle pads yeah so always wear it don't forget it like me so hope you guys like this episode so that's it normally it will be full of water good reflections to see i thought it rained yesterday there will be some sort of water here but the summer had made the ground very dry so it's really hard ha huh? sad kitcha signing off or and out peace hope you guys don't mind if i'm going to do some mobile photography here so i'm going to do some mobile photography capturing the same stuff Hey, he's out. <laughs> <laughs>